Good day students. Today we're going to look at uh, another video solution. This is to um, page 29 numbers or letters H and J and it's talking about factorization, prime factorization. Okay, So what does prime factorization mean? It means um, breaking the numbers down to prime factors. Okay, You all know what a prime number is, right? Prime numbers are numbers whose factors are only one and itself. Uh, three is a prime number because the only way to get three is one times itself, right? Five is a prime number. One times five is the only way to get it. Uh, seven is prime. So prime numbers have only two factors, one and itself. So your job is to break this down into, okay, um, prime numbers. Now, I got the calculator showing there as well. Um, so how do we start with 175? Now if you're not sure what it's divisible by, you know, you know, there are clues. It ends in a 5 and anything that ends in a 5 is divisible by 5. So, you know, don't, uh, don't worry. It doesn't matter which one you start with. It can be any one at all. So take your calculator, put in your number, and say, well, it ends in 5, so I'm going to start with 5. 175 divided by 5. So basically, that's what you do, you've done now. You've taken 175 and broke it down to two things. It is now uh, 35 times 5, or 5 times 35, right? You just divide it by 5 and got 35. Then you know now that you have one prime number done. So 5 is done. So now you go again to the next one. Now, how do can I break 35 down? So how do you break 35 down? Is the question, right? So 35, and again it ends in a five. So that's a clue right there. Ends in a five, right? Look, see it. So divisible by five again. So go to the next step. Try it again, right? And in this case, it is divisible by five. So 35. If you're not sure what it is. 35 times 5, or divided by 5, of course, leaves you with what? 7. So this is now 5, 5 times 7, right? And now, can you go any further? Can you break down 5 or can you break down 7? No, these are also prime numbers. So your final answer, and put them in order from highest to low, or lowest to highest, 5 times 5 times 7 or you can write it as 5 squared times 7 if you'd rather okay so the final answer here is 5 times 5 times 7 you've broken it down now then go check it just in case you made a mistake so you go over to the calculator and you multiply it out make sure you get your number back 5 times 5 times 7 and make sure we get 175 which we do so that's called a prime factorization. So there's your answer to the first one. Now let's look at our second one. 252. Well, 2, ending that ends in a 2, or ending that ends in an even number, is divisible by 2. So don't worry about where you start. So 252, it's an even number. It must be divisible by 2. All even numbers are divisible by 2. So I start with 252 divided by 2. And I get 126. Oops, let me just go back and fix that. 2 times 126. Okay? Now, 2, yeah, prime factor, right? So then you take the 126 and you keep going. 126, can that break down any further? Okay? Let's see. 126, it's even. So let's do 126. We're going to divide by 2 again because it's an even number. Oh, that's 63. So it's 2 times 63. Okay, so again, what do we have? Another prime factor. Now break down to 63. Does the 63 break down any further? Okay, well you know 7 goes into 63. So I'm going to try 63 divided by 7, which you should know without doing it on the calculator, but it is 7 times 9. 
Now, 7, also a prime factor. Is 9 a prime factor? No, that means 9 is a composite number, right? And composites can break down into primes. So let's see. 9, what does that do? It's 3 times 3. So it looks like 9 has prime factors of 3 and 3. Now, are there any numbers left that are composite numbers? No, all the circled numbers here are prime. So my final answer from lowest to highest, remember how we write it, is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. And again, I'm going to check that very quickly on the calculator. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 7. And I get 252. So there's your final answer. And again, we could, or we could write it as what? We could say um, 252 is also 2 squared times 3 squared times 7. So either or is perfectly correct. So there's your answer to the second one right there. Okay, so a couple of examples of prime factorization. That's it for now.